This tutorial introduces how to use the Papaya 3D Plus. First, turn on the power. If the equipment does not operate, check the emergency switch. In order to obtain a scan, run the Papaya 3D OP and register a patient. After selecting the scan mode of your choice, click the register button to view the order list. Select the patient to be scanned from the order list and click the select button. You can also double click the patient's name. After checking the scan mode you want, select the preset, the shape of the mandibular arch and the quality of the image before selecting the confirm button. Guide the patient to the x-ray room and ask him or her to put his or her earrings, necklaces, glasses, etc. in an accessory storage tray. Ask the patient to wear an apron to minimize his or her exposure to radiation from x-rays. This is the panoramic scan mode. Select the desired scan mode and follow the instructions that will be shown on the next screen. This is the cephalometric scan mode. Select the desired scan mode and follow the instructions shown on the next screen. Once the patient is positioned, click the Prepare button on the OP screen and press the hand switch in accordance with the instructions on screen until the scan is completed. Select the best image from the multifocus options and save. If you would like to scan again, select the Rescan button. The next mode is the CT scan mode. The CT scan mode provides different scanning options that include the jaw, teeth, and tooth mode. Let us look into the jaw scanning mode, which is used to scan the entire jaw area. Change the volume and select the quality of the image depending on the situation. Then ask the patient to stand in the appropriate position. The next step is to adjust the height to the patient's height. Afterward, let the patient bite the bite tip and press the laser button. There are three lasers and each laser should be located on its specific facial area as shown on the screen. Let us look into the teeth scanning mode, which is the mode used to scan a number of teeth simultaneously. After selecting the scanning area, change the volume and select the quality of the image depending on the situation. Then ask the patient to stand in the appropriate position. The next step is to adjust the height to the patient's height. Afterward, let the patient bite the bite tip and press the laser button. There are three lasers and each laser should be located on its specific facial area as shown on the screen. Let us look into the tooth scan mode, which is the mode to thoroughly scan one or two teeth. After selecting the scanning area by clicking it using a mouse, Change the volume and select the quality of the image depending on the situation. Then ask the patient to stand in the appropriate location. Choosing endodontic for the quality of the image will be helpful during endodontic treatment. The next step is to adjust the height to the patient's height. Afterward, let the patient bite the bite tip and press the laser button. There are three lasers and each laser should be located on its specific facial area as shown on the screen. Follow the instructions on the following screen if a dental root located in the maxillary sinus or the maxilla is not visible. If you would like to obtain a more accurate image for a specific tooth before the CT scan, 
then the scout scan should be completed beforehand. When the patient is positioned, select the prepare button on the operation screen and press the hand switch until you are instructed that the scan is complete. Once the scan is complete, select the save button and check the image in Triana.